Hey everyone, welcome to another cleaning video. I'm Julianne in today's video we are going to be doing some nesting but I also have some organizing that I'm going to be getting done. First we are going to start out here in the master bedroom. This is where I'm going to be organizing the baby things. First I'm going to get the bed made and get the room cleaned up and then we'll start organizing. And I bought a ton for this baby since we're not finding out the gender I just am buying the essential things that I think that we'll need once baby is here and then we will get like all the cute little clothes not too much stuff though because we are trying to keep it very minimal and if you guys have not been here uh, before I do have three other kids we have two little girls and a little boy so we definitely still have some things left over from Camila if this baby is a girl that we'll be able to use. I am going to get the clothes and blankets washed and I'm just using the detergent, the all free and clear. I picked up this great organizer from Amazon, but I'm not going to be using it for the things here that I'm putting in. I'm just trying to get everything off of the chair that I've had the baby stuff sitting in, but I do plan on putting like wipes in here, diapers, an extra change of clothes, but I have seen where other women used it and they were like breastfeeding moms and they put their breast pump in here and some snacks and some other essential things that they need for breastfeeding. Um, so if you guys would like me to link it in the description box, let me know. Strangers. Stepped into my life, such a magic feeling. We tore down my walls. Now I'm going to get these drawers cleaned out. I don't know why I have been piling all this junk in here, but I'm going to get it all taken out. A lot of it is just trash that needs to be thrown away. Definitely a lot of old mail that I just have been throwing in here that I need to get taken care of, and a lot of children's books. And I just know things will never be the same We're like strangers again, again, again Strangers again, again, again We're like strangers again, again, again and I just know things will never be the same We're like strangers again Again, again, again. 
All right, so I got all of the clutter put away and dealt with. Now I'm going to get the drawers nice and clean. And while I'm waiting for the clothes to dry, I am going to put the bassinet together. We did just get a tiny bassinet for the baby. I think that I picked it up at Target or Amazon. Started. It's time to get my head up again You said that you had to I'll try to forget you Just didn't think we'd end up this way Like strangers again The bassinet was super simple to put together. I do just need to put the batteries in here and make sure that everything works. But I do like how easy it folds up. It's super lightweight, so it'll be easy to take out into the living room and to other places if I need to like go out of town. It's just something that will fit in the car and will be super simple to take with us. Now I'm going to get the baby's clothes folded and I did pick up these organizers from Ikea. It's the way it is, love. 
Alright, so now we're going to head out into the kitchen and the kitchen isn't terrible but I do have some cleaning I need to get done and organizing. For baby number four, a lot of my nesting is going to be getting my house organized. That way it's able to run smoothly when baby does get here. Um, honestly, I just don't need a lot of baby stuff. Definitely right now since they only need some onesies and we really don't know if the baby's gonna like certain swings and things like that. So I'm not trying to get everything um, until the baby gets here and then we kind of see what we feel like we need. But I do need to make sure that my house is running smoothly after I give birth. That way I can continue to um, go on with life without it being um, super difficult. So I do have some things in here in the kitchen that I wanna get organized just to make it a little bit simpler. So one of my subscribers had reached out and they had mentioned that it would be fun to go over some of the old wives tales for the baby's gender since we're not finding out. So I wanted to just answer a few of those for you guys. Um, so we're going to start with the Chinese gender prediction chart because I feel like that one is super popular. And mine came up as girl, but I feel like the dates could, you know, be a little bit off and the next month would be boy, but we'll go for a girl with that one. And then it says the feel of your skin, if it's drier, um, it could be a boy. And if it brings out the oils, a girl, I feel like my skin hasn't changed much, not super oily and not super like dry. So I think that could go either way. So the next one is about weight gain placement. If you carry all your weight in the front, it's a boy. And if those pounds are all over, you might be expecting a daughter. And I would definitely say that I have gained weight everywhere, not just in my belly. Um, baby's heart rate, if it's under 140, then boy over 140 girl and mine has consistently been over 140 the entire time cravings salty versus sweet salty for boy sweet for girl i always crave sweets so i'm not sure that we can really count this one as um counting towards a girl but i guess we will um carrying high versus low i can never tell if i carry high or low I would assume I'm carrying on the higher side versus the lower side. Um, sleeping, if you naturally fall asleep on your left side, means you're carrying a boy on your right side. Girl, I do sleep on the right side. Um, clumsy, I have definitely been clumsy. And it says, if you're clumsier than usual, maybe a boy. Um, then, let's see, heartburn. I've definitely had a lot of heartburn. And it says that could be a sign of a girl. Moody versus mellow. I would definitely say I've been more moody. And it says um, girl for that one. So a lot of these are pointing towards girl, but who really knows? Baby, all the stars are shining bright Yeah, we 
should stay up so that we can look at them all night just keep holding me don't let me go everything's so magical all i need is you tonight if i shut my eyes keeping them closed all of the senses explodes you and me under the sky let's stay So it has been a while since I wiped down the backsplash, so I want to make sure I get that done. And I am going to be wiping down the cabinets too, and I'm just using some dish soap and a microfiber cloth towel. So I did notice that our cups were starting to overflow being in this one cabinet and I do have a cabinet that's empty so I am going to be moving some of the cups over there along with the kids lunch things that I'm going to be using for when they go back to school because my kids do go back to school in about a week. the art and the thing is that these scars are scary but they are just small scars we should never be afraid of them you and i know when we are too far apart everything just falls apart so i just close my eyes Another area that was super unorganized is the Tupperware drawer. My mom does bring me up food that she's made for us and a lot of the plastic wear is going to be hers so I am going to take that out and get it back to her. Um, but also the things that I typically keep in here are a mess so I am going to get it organized. We're walking down a path and the wind changed at last Like a song about a past So I just close 
Now I'm going to wipe down the kitchen table and then I'm quickly going to vacuum. Alright, that is pretty much it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to give it a like and make sure to hit that subscribe button for more cleaning motivation. Thank you guys so much for being here today and I will see you in the next one. Bye!